One thing I absolutely love about Illustrator is how many ways you can be creative in it. You can create simple shapes that become building blocks for whatever you want to create. In Illustrator, there are a lot of tools you can use to make the shapes you just saw that make up that artwork. But what if we want to create more freeform looking or what we call hand-drawn artwork? Like this. Or this. That's where a wide range of other tools, what we call our drawing tools, come into play. Your drawing tools are found here in the toolbar on the left. And the main drawing tools are the curvature tool, the paintbrush tool, the blot brush tool, the pencil tool, and a tool you may have heard of before, the pen tool. Now, just because I say drawing tools doesn't mean you need to be a professional artist to use these. They're here to make fantastic artwork in Illustrator easier. You might be asking yourself, why do we need so many drawing tools? Each of these tools lets you create differently, as you'll see. But you can use them together to make anything. Let me take you on a quick tour of these drawing tools. We'll begin with some that you can get creative with right now. We'll start with the pencil tool. It's over here in the toolbar under the paintbrush tool. Using it's like drawing with a pencil on paper. These butterfly wings you see here, those were drawn with the pencil tool. Now with some drawing tools, you can start by setting tool options to work the way you like. You can then draw what you want and even redraw parts. Not only can you draw curvy lines with this tool, but you can also draw straight lines by pressing the Alt or Option key. Like the other drawing tools, pencil tools make what we call a path. If you want to give your artwork a more freeform look in Adobe Illustrator, you can use drawing tools like the paintbrush or pencil tool. Using the paintbrush and pencil tools, you draw a path like you would with an actual paintbrush or pencil. With the other drawing tools like the curvature and pen tools, you draw paths by making points. Let's explore the pencil and the paintbrush tools by finishing this butterfly. Now, both tools let you draw paths the same way, but with the paintbrush tool, you can change the appearance of your paths by selecting or creating a brush even before you draw. With the paintbrush tool selected, click the brush menu in the properties panel over here and select the brush you like. Now, to change how the tool works, I usually set at least one tool option to start. Double click the tool. To make the pads smoother you draw, and so they have fewer points, drag this fidelity slider all the way to the right. And then select this keep selected option, so the path you draw is still selected in case you want to edit it when you're done. Then click OK. Notice that the paintbrush pointer shows an asterisk next to it. For any drawing tool, that means you're about to create a new path. So in the document, why don't you try drawing this butterfly antenna, following the gray guide path. After you release the mouse, the brush you chose is applied to the path. Now, if you want to edit the path, you can easily redraw parts right now. Move the pointer over the path, and when the asterisk goes away, drag. You can also always change the brush applied to the path. Try choosing something different from the brush menu over here, maybe to experiment a little. If you don't want the brush applied, you can also remove it here. Or if you want to find some more brushes to experiment with, you can click here. To make the path you drew a little thinner, why don't you try changing the stroke weight to something like 0.5 point. Then try drawing the other antenna. If you're just starting on your creative journey in Illustrator, or maybe you're more experienced, one drawing tool you should get to know is the curvature tool. It's a more precise drawing tool, it can be, and creating with it is easy and intuitive. You click to make points and Illustrator figures out the curve between those points. You can even make straight lines with it and edit any path. So let's explore the curvature tool by creating the parts of this guitar. Along the way, you'll learn everything you need to know to be proficient with it. So select the curvature tool in the toolbar. Come out to the parts of the guitar, and we're going to start by drawing the main guitar body here. I'll zoom in a little. Before you start creating, you should set the fill color and stroke. Make sure the fill is none. And let's set the stroke weight to three point, so it's a little thicker. And has a stroke color of black. Now, I added some circles to this template to show you where to add points, but only for the first part of the path. The idea is to explore and see what happens. Starting here, click and release to start the shape. Come to the next point, click and release. Now, move the pointer. You see the curve? Illustrator lets you know what your path will look like with a preview if you were to click right now. 
If you come down here to the next point and look at the curve, it's not perfect, but it's close. Click and move the pointer away. Continue down the shape here, clicking and moving to see the path. Now, if you make a mistake, maybe you put a point in the wrong spot, you can simply drag the point back into place, like that. Now, to get comfortable with it, the pen tool is going to take practice. But if you take it slow and practice, before you know it, you'll have it. Let's begin with the pen tool basics, so you can start to feel comfortable using it. We'll draw some of the parts of this little alien. To start, at least when you're learning the pen tool, you want to turn off smart guides. You can do that in the view menu. That way, what you draw won't snap and smart guides won't show, which could be really distracting. Select the pen tool in the toolbar, and before you start drawing anything, you're going to set your fill and stroke. Remove the fill color in the properties panel, and change the stroke weight to 2, just so it's a little thicker. That can actually make it easier to see the path as you're drawing it. And make sure the stroke color is black. Alright, see the asterisk next to the pointer? That means you're about to create a new path. Okay, come to an empty area, and let's start. Click and release to start a path, and make an anchor point. Then move the pointer, and you'll see this little rubber band or preview of what your path would look like if you click. Click and release. To stop drawing, press the escape key. You've just created a straight line with the pen tool. Now let's practice making some lines with the pen tool by drawing these teeth. I'll zoom in a little bit. Starting here on point one, click and release to start a path. Then click and release on point two. Click three and release. Keep clicking and releasing on each point and if you make a mistake, you can always choose Edit, Undo Pen, and then click to make that one point again. You'll also find the paths you draw can be edited later using other tools. So don't worry if the path doesn't follow the template exactly for now. With a basic understanding of the pen tool, in this video you're going to get some practice. You're going to create some artwork with the pen tool, and you might even learn a few things along the way. You'll create this trailer in this car, and you can see the finished artwork on the right. To start, you'll make sure that the Smart Guides are turned off by choosing View, Smart Guides. And then you'll start by drawing this trailer. Now, it's mostly a, a lot of straight lines, so select the Pen tool, and I'll zoom into it. To quickly set the stroke and fill to their defaults of a white fill and a black stroke, you can actually press the letter D on your keyboard. Then make sure to remove the fill so you can see the template through the path. Now you can start. Start drawing anywhere. I'll start down here. Click and release to set a point. Then move the pointer over to the next corner. And the, the path needs to be perfectly straight here. So you'll use the shift key. Press shift and click. Then release the key. You can move the pointer up here and to make another perfectly straight path, shift click the next corner point here. Make another straight line here by shift clicking. Then move the pointer down here and press the shift key again. This time, just drag the pointer around a little bit. You can see it's actually going to snap to 45 degrees. Come down here, click and release the mouse, then the key, and you just made a diagonal path. Work your way around by pressing the shift key and clicking. If you make a mistake, you can always choose edit, undo pen, and then redraw that last point. Let's explore a few Illustrator, what are called drawing modes, that are going to help you create and edit faster. In the toolbar over here, you're going to see there are three drawing modes. I'll press on this button here. Draw normal, draw behind, and draw inside. When creating content in Illustrator, draw normal mode is default. It means all new content is placed on top of the previous in the stacking order. Draw behind mode means all new content is placed behind the previous in the stacking order. And draw inside mode means all new content goes within a shape like this hot air balloon. Let's start by adding a gradient filled rectangle to this design so it's behind everything else, like you see in the final over here. Now you could draw the rectangle and arrange it to go behind everything else, but it'd be easier just to draw it behind everything to start with. Press and hold on the drawing mode button at the bottom of the tools panel and choose draw behind. 
Now let's draw a rectangle. So select the rectangle tool and starting up here, go ahead and create a rectangle that covers the entire artboard. The rectangle should be behind everything else. Let's change the fill color. Click the fill color in the properties panel and select this gradient. Now to change the direction of the gradient, click the gradient options button down here and you can open the gradient panel. In that panel, change the angle to 90 degrees. That looks a little better. Next, you're going to take this cloud and paste it behind some of these balloons, but in front of the other background shapes. With the selection tool, click to select this cloud. Go ahead and cut it by choosing Edit Cut. Now, you've already got the Draw Behind mode still active, so select the yellow balloon shape here, and let's paste it by choosing Edit Paste. 